basically just a substitution of a lot of equations. I think there is no need for me to go through this. Okay? Okay? The, the equation is just a substitution. You can find them somewhere over there. This is, this is, this is the last slide. And this is in the capacitance. So you can see this is our RC resonator from to discharge. Time constant. So uh, do I need to go through this? Just remember the time constant equation, okay? Okay. If you if you have a have a, a, a problem about this, I can maybe may, maybe about this. Just, just remember what is time constant. It is RC, and it is epsilon over uh, convexity, and then just substitution. Okay. So let's uh, see about the magnetic field. Magnetic field. I need to say that it is a very magical thing to learn about uh, electro electric magnetic field because everything is related and it has a duality. So everything you learn in electric field can be applied to magnetic field, just for very minor difference. Right? So this is Ampere's law, but for previously what we had, we can compare. Right. So this is Ampere's law. Previously, we have Coulomb's law. Um, we not we don't do this kind of. We need to say this is Ampere's law for magnetic field, and this is Gauss's law for electric field. This is the corresponding relation. Okay, bias about law is corresponding to the Coulomb's law in the electric field. So, like what we mentioned, the Gauss's law needs to have a certain uh, symmetry, right? If the symmetry uh, is not there, then we need to apply the co Coulomb's law. So similarly for this one, we need to apply symmetry to Ampere's law. If the symmetry is gone, then we need to apply the bias of that law. Magnetic potential, we have electric potential. I didn't do anything. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just move on, okay? Now, uh, for the magnetic field, we have Faraday's law, and... I don't want to sit down. Okay. 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 Okay.